going to be sharing with you the fourth mistake women make after 40 when it comes to health and hormones. I'm Linda Lukovic, holistic nutritionist and coach. What is the fourth mistake? Well, they don't consider or really get the, the impact that stress can have on your health and your hormones specifically. So what does it look like if someone is making this mistake? Well, often they prioritize getting things done. They are the go-getters out there. They are flying all day long, checking off boxes, getting their stuff done, um, high achieving, and just really never stopping throughout the day. Um, they don't feel stressed though. They just kind of keep going. That's just the way they've always been. And they might be joining challenges and going pretty hard with workouts and running and biking. And sometimes they use stimulants to get through the day. And sometimes they even feel more productive at nighttime. So they stay up a little bit late. They compromise their sleep um, to stay up till 11, 12, 1 to kind of get those last things done. And they just, they're, they're the go-getters out there. And so that's just one example of what it could look like if you're not necessarily understanding the impact that stress can have on long-term health. So there are negative consequences to being at that sympathetic state. When you are stressed, what can happen is your body will prioritize the external environment. So basically all the resources go into your limbs to help you run away from that stressful situation. So it's the physiology hasn't changed through our through our time uh, but our environment around us has significantly even compared to 40 years ago and so there are significant stresses on us today and we never get out of that sympathetic state we're all running just trying to to get things done and so this like i said that can have very negative consequences because think of it this way this really resonated with me um, when someone explained it this way is your body becomes catabolic when you are in that chronic state of stress for too long catabolic, meaning that your body is actually breaking things down, um, joints, bones, muscles, um, or like everything in the body. The body is using its internal, it's breaking it down to be able to bring up your blood glucose levels, to use it as an energy to get you through the day. All right, so this is long-term. So um, there can be an impact with that. Uh, nutritional deficiencies down the road, and we need a certain level of nutrition to feel good. Uh, you can osteoporosis, um, joint issues, you name it. Okay, so there can be a lot of things that, that happen long-term as a result of being in this chronic stress state forever. So what I want you guys to take away from this as well is that you don't always just feel stress. It's not always emotional. Stress can come in many different forms. Stress can come from, sure, skipping breakfast, doing a really hard workout uh, when you're already tired to begin with, um, eating the wrong foods for your metabolic type, having a chronic gut infection, um, IBS, a chronic digestive issue that you've had your whole life. That can be a stress. Same thing with any sort of chronic imbalance, like migraines, headaches, being on a, um, a pharmaceutical for like a oh, super long period of time can be a stress. Eating um, genetically modified foods, all the organic, you know, non-organic stuff that can introduce chemicals into your body, using products that aren't organic and um, do contain some chemicals. Again, it's it's the long-term impact of these things, right? Also just being exposed to like higher levels of radiation if you're flying a lot for your job. And um, just know that stress can, you know, it's very, you don't always feel stress, right? But these are stresses to the body or even having like a, an infection in your tooth or something or a that you have no idea about. Your body is constantly using its energy and resources to address all of those imbalances in your body without you knowing. You don't feel stressed, right? So um, that's the thing about stress. So this is a very common mistake with most people. Like people are just busy getting stuff done and doing their thing out there in the world that all these little things, these symptoms, they're just nuisances, right? They just kind of keep, they have just enough energy that they can still keep going. So they do, they just keep going. So. Um, so that can be a problem because your body doesn't make hormones when it's in a state of stress. No, nope, that's not the priority. The priority is to produce cortisol, which is your stress hormone to keep you running, to keep you going. So, um, that is the fourth mistake women make when it comes to health and hormones.